Working with text in Illustrator, you have a number of different options. Uh, you can start by going to the, the Type tool. And underneath the Type tool, you'll see a number of different variations. For basic type, you're always just going to use the basic type tool. And all you have to do to start is click directly on a canvas. In Illustrator CC 2017, by default, it just pastes uh, placeholder text when you click on the canvas with the type tool. It's Latin, but it's uh, as Latin, it doesn't mean anything to us. It's just something that kind of allows us to get an idea of for how much space or, or what the text is going to look like. So when you do this, whatever the chosen font is, is going to show up and whatever the chosen font size. So the default font in Illustrator is Myriad Pro, regular and 12 points. So if we want a bigger font, just it goes from six to 72 points. You can also go in and type a value. So I could type in 126 if I wanted it to be bigger and I have my bigger, bigger text. So the text comes in a text box on its own. I can just grab it and move it around with the selection tool. Uh, one of the handy things about the way Illustrator works with text, if you go in to change your text just by clicking here in the drop down menu, you get an instant preview of what that text is going to look like as you mouse over the different fonts. So you can use this as a, a pretty good guideline to what the text is going to look like. So all kinds of different ones. Uh, if you know the, the font in particular you want, just type the first letter in. It will show up here. So if I wanted American typewriter condensed light, there it is. I actually want uh, maybe Avenir Avenir Heavy. So click on that and I've got my, my font. I'm going to go back and make it a little bit smaller than, than that though. That's huge. So here I've got the, the basic font. Again, you can change the parameters up here. But before I go any further, I think I would like to change my workspace layout to typography. So under workspace here, go to typography. And what that does is it opens panels that are specific to working with type. So here, this is uh, the character panel. Um, paragraph would be very useful if we were working with uh, a lot, a big body of text. We're not, we're just working with um, point text or headline text. I want to see everything that's available to me as an option in the character palette. So I'm going to click here, go show options. And I want to, and here this also kind of gives you a preview of some of the other things you could do. So I could change this to all caps using this drop down menu, small caps, superscript, or subscript. It's not really going to show up here because it's, the whole thing is selected. So I'm just going to go back, I'm going to turn off subscript and turn off small caps. So I'm back to my original text. That's a quick way to go in and change that using the drop down menu here. Now, um, the character palette allows you to go in and really kind of custom adjust how your text is going to look. Uh, from here, you can change the point size. So some of the options that are available from underneath the tool options palette when the type tool is selected are also available from the character tool. Uh, so some of these options, this allows you to change the space between letters. So that's known as the tracking. And if we click here, you can see what's happening is the letters are getting farther apart from each other. If we go in the other direction, then they'll start to get closer together. And here, if you click over here, you can actually, there's a, like a quick command way to do it. And if we make this even a larger number, you can see that this actually allows us to overlap letters. Now when they're, they're all outlined in black, it's not, not going to show up very well, but maybe if we switch the stroke and the 
fill colors so that we see the outline and then we start to see the overlapping letters a little bit better. And that's something you can do. Um, if you don't want an outline, you can have no outline and just a fill. And if you don't want a fill, if you just want outline text, you can do that as well. So by default, any stroke on any new text or object is one point. You can make it smaller. You can make it larger. And uh, depending on what kind of stroke you're using, you're going to want to use different things at different times. So here, um, let me just move my text apart a little bit again. Let's go back to zero. So this is what it looks like by default. So again, uh, there, you don't have all of the stroke options available to you while your type is type, uh, but we can get all the different stroke options by changing the type to objects, which we'll do later on. First, let's just look at some of the, the basic type options here. So we change the tracking or the space between letters. If we want to go in and change, uh, just make changes to one of the letters or a couple of them, we can go back to the type tool, select it. Uh, in this case, I want to make it larger. So the L I want to be quite a bit bigger than the rest of the text. So let's just try typing in 86. It's pretty good, but maybe a little bit bigger again. Um, I'm just going to use the arrow so I can kind of see this as it goes along. So that is a uh, quite a bit bigger. I also want to bring it down a little bit and I can do that using this. So this allows me to kind of custom adjust the position of that letter in relation to the rest of the text. I could also use this to stretch it. So if I wanted the vertical scale to be a little bit more, I could stretch it that way. And if I want to make it squish it, so make it uh, skinnier, I could do it by going over and using this. So this affects the width of text. If I wanted it to be fatter, I would go in the opposite direction. So I could make it quite fat in terms of the letter. So this stretches it or squishes it down. And you can see you can go in and really kind of customize your individual letters this way. Here, I'm just going to reset this back to 100. So uh, again, this if I want this to be part of it, I might have to bring that down a little bit more. It's still part of the word, but I want the O to be closer to the L. I want it to be kind of sitting on top, that L. So again, I would go in and edit the position. So here, I might actually just click between the L and the O. And this allows me to kind of move this over so it's kind of like it's sitting on top of the line, lower line there for the L. So I'm just going to bring that over. And if I want to make any other changes, maybe the, I think that's, that's fine in terms of what we have now. So uh, again, I could go in and select each individual letter and make custom changes to it. Uh, for example, maybe I want a different color. Uh, I could go in and kind of custom adjust that. Now the O is yellow. Everything else is black and white with just an outline. Uh, I could uh, change the size of other, other letters as well. I don't really want to do that, but just to kind of show you again here, you go in and adjust the point. So that has made the M super small. Let's just undo that. And I could also go in and rotate. So I could rotate all the letters just by selecting the text as a whole. And I could go in and just use this rotation tool to rotate them. Or again, I could go in, zero this out, and just select a single letter. So I'm going to go in with the type tool, select R, and I could just rotate it here. 
So rotating it creates more space between them. So again, what I might want to do next is decrease the space between the R and the E using this option. So the character tool, great for going in and kind of customizing things. There's one more uh, type tool that's not really visible here, and that is the type glyphs tool. And that will give you all the characters that are available for a particular font. So here you can see there are all kinds of different symbols, uh, Greek letters, accents, umlauts. Uh, there's the Apple option. There's the infinity symbol. These are all options that are available with this typeface. There is the copyright and the trademark trademark here too. So these are all kind of available when this particular font is selected. So if you wanted to go in and make changes with, to how something looked, you want to um, say use a, rather than use English characters, you want to kind of temporarily replace them with something slightly different. You can just click here and replace them.